Here's a harsh truth for the guys out there. When you're chatting with girls and you're racking your brain for topics, that's when you'll strike out. Ever wonder why those popular guys never seem to care about what to talk about? It's because they can create sparks with girls over the simplest topics. So how should we go about it? Pay attention and understand this. No matter how beautiful the girl is or how good her conditions are, as long as you have her contact information, you can treat her like your girlfriend. I once had a guy come up to me and say, Hey, I work at the same company as her. I'm in sales, but I can't chat at all. Most of the time, I feel awkward and bored. Now, we meet and chat every day apart from work. I feel embarrassed to text her after work. She only replies to me occasionally and disappears after a few words. Every time I want to order takeout for her, I order for other colleagues in the office too, because I'm afraid she'll feel embarrassed and refuse. All my colleagues can tell that I like her. They've been trying to bring us together, but she remains indifferent. So I'm a little anxious. How should I advance the relationship now? Then I took a look at his previous chat history. Bro, tell me where you went today. The girl didn't reply. Bro, where did you go yesterday? The girl didn't reply. Bro, reply to the message when you have time. The girl didn't say anything. Bro, you must be tired, right? Reply immediately. Go to bed when you're tired. Or watch a video. I saw that you've taken 20,000 steps today. Your feet must be hurting, right? Again, the girl didn't reply. When I saw this, I just wanted to say, if I didn't know that you liked this girl, bro, I would have thought you were asking your subordinates to report to you. Here's a harsh reality for the guys. When you're in pure work mode and can't sense any ambiguity, I totally get that you want to chat. We can't discuss the inner struggles of girls, but honestly, chatting with a girl isn't that hard. I can talk about everyday topics all day long. Don't believe me? Just look at how I helped this guy. I first got him to chat with the girl for two weeks, just to balance out this shaky relationship. When the time was right, I had him send her a message right away. The first point here is to find the right time to chat with girls. Too early, and she'll say she's busy. Too late, and she'll say she's going to bed. So what's the best time? It's 9 p.m. She can't ignore you at that time. Then wait for her reaction. Pull back immediately. Girls are naturally curious. She'll definitely reply. We said we wanted to ask her what she was doing, but the answer suddenly came to me, either taking a shower or going to bed. Let's just tell the girl what she might say back. Predict it, go her way, and leave her with no way to go. Girls find this interesting and a little embarrassing because they've always dealt with the guy this way. Soon, the girl replied, Haha, I was just about to take a shower. As expected, lame excuses come as they come. But luckily, we expected it. Are we saying you're testing my determination? So should I avoid it or not? The guy saw this and immediately got anxious. He said nothing. He told me, Do you really think about this sentence again? She will definitely block me. I told him, Bro, please be bold. Don't question me. You were missing these things when you were chatting with girls before. You have to dare to be big. Be brave enough to test a girl's reaction. Correct response. Hey, then this chess piece is the hand of God. It doesn't matter if you don't react well. Anyway, that's all we talked about. What else can you lose? This is how girls stop here. Come on, what are you thinking about? Do you guys think girls are fierce? Actually not. If you're really disgusted, then she will delete and block you directly. Why are you still giving you space to reply? So this is the second point I wanna make. Here's the deal, guys. Dare to push the envelope. We said we wouldn't even dare to think about it, but you definitely don't like this kind of person even more. You said it back, don't change concepts, stop talking like this. Let's calmly return here. I feel the same way. If you have this attitude, it's better not to talk. I'm going to order a cup of milk tea, and the customer service staff would talk to me in a nice voice. Here comes the third important point. Being unreasonable and unforgiving, are we really going to push girls? It's not that we just pointed it out in a self-deprecating way. It's just the fact that girls don't reply to messages. I can bet this girl heard this reply. She will definitely find a way to explain herself. As expected, she said you have the nerve to blame me. You don't even look at the messages you sent before. Can humans return? 
Here we say, I admit that I took it too easy in front of you. I'm used to disguising myself outside, but I think you should be different from others. So a lot of the time, I just say what I want to say. If you're not used to it, then next time I chat with you, I will draft it 100 times. What a big deal. Facing the pressure from girls, we don't have to be afraid at all. Sometimes girls ask you what one plus one equals. The answer is actually two. Why are you hesitating and thinking so much? Since he said that he wouldn't chat before, then we can just admit it openly. But our reply will let girls find out, the guy is like this because he thinks he is special. Then I ask, which girl doesn't like to feel special? So he will definitely not complain again. It's gonna be four minutes later, it won't be a problem if the girl comes back. It's just that sometimes it makes me a little speechless. Actually, you're quite a nice person. Hey, here comes another common good guy card preview. But I'm sorry, I think it's impossible for Big Bear to accept it honestly like this. Why do I have this confidence? Just what the girl said, sometimes all it takes is a glimmer of opportunity. I can survive from desperate situations. I received the good guy card. Or are you more introverted? I love you so much that it's hard to say. Girls reply instantly, you really shine if you give me some sunshine. Do you need me to remind you? Who likes whom? Facing our ambiguous flat A, the girl was handed over directly to the trial. The great sage will reply to me right away, why don't you just confess your love? All I can say is, hey, remember, I want girls to take the initiative instead of you licking it. So, if I ask him to respond to me, won't it help you relieve stress? You probably don't want to be sad either. While enjoying my good, at the same time, you can also call the scumbag who is my friend a name. Girls dare to question, we dare to fight back. This is what I want to say too. The last point is attitude. Tell girls, the guy is not the Siri you can always call, but a man of flesh and blood. The girl replied, then you are blaming me now. We girls think more about it. Who knows if you are just in a state of novelty. It's obvious that girls have never responded to people with big breasts. So he started doubting his bro's honesty. When a girl says something like this, you can tell she's pretty sophisticated. It's like a TV series, easy to hide the big stuff. I'm not saying she's bad or anything, but think about it. Dude, are you really going after a smart girl like this? She knows how to handle a relationship, so we gotta step up our game. Excitement is like collecting seashells. You know there's a whole ocean out there, with even more beautiful things waiting to be discovered. Once you've found your one-of-a-kind shell, leave the rest for others. Excitement, that's what a lot of girls are worried about these days. Where do we stand? Just tell him straight up. Temptation is natural, but staying loyal is a choice. The girl shot back, why do I get the feeling you're kind of a jerk? You're smooth with words, but can you walk the talk? The forecast says it's gonna rain. Girls will call out jerks for making empty promises. So guys, if you think sincere promises work, you might wanna read some romance novels. Check out my videos again. I didn't wanna make any promises either, but you can't say a bulletproof vest is bulletproof if you keep shooting at me. Even with the vest on, it's gonna hurt. We'll tell the girls last, Good feelings can't stand constant doubt and questioning. The path to love is long and hard, all based on honesty. Ten minutes later, the girl said, If you're all talk and no action, it's gonna blow up in your face. I don't need to say more. Fast forward a month. I've been giving my bro a lot of advice on how to get along with girls, how to chat. Half a month later, they got together. Just last week, my bro told me that the girl's grandma is turning 90 soon. She wants him to come home with her for the birthday celebration. So guys, you don't need to overthink when it comes to finding topics to chat with girls. Start with the little things around you. Add a bit of what I've said, and voila, she's bound to fall for you. If you're looking to master the art of attracting girls, want them to pursue you, or need advice on love and dating recovery, then stay tuned to my videos. Don't forget to like, share with your loved ones, and subscribe to the Dark Psychology World channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.